Okay guys, welcome, it's Big Muscle. And today, we're in Nashville, Tennessee. And this is the Parthenon, a replica of Greek archeology. span And um, based on a little bit of research I did, it was constructed to, as a replica of Greek archeology span and Greek history. How it influenced the Western world, Western civilization, and um, I'm seeing that it's been in the works since the 18th century. Okay, so let's take a look at this building. It's very tall, I would say probably 50, 60 feet high, and it's, if you notice, it sits on a horizon. It's risen up from the ground. So here on the sidewalk, all the way to the bottom, right there, I would say that's about a 15 feet rise. And then the building itself, I would say it's probably say 30, 60 feet. Yes. To the top, I would say probably it's like uh, to the pinnacle up there we got that. Uh, Maybe 70 feet high. But it's a replica of Greek archaeology and it was constructed to signify how ancient Greek influenced Western civilization. Now it's kind of early. They open at 9 a.m. So if time allows, we're gonna go inside when they open and we're gonna take a look inside at some of the artifacts they have in there yes we will let's see if we could go closer to the building so we can get nicer shots they do require face masks in there and there are the opening hours right here at the door and the admission is right here also okay and these are some of the rules they have all right <laughs> Okay, so it says the Parthenon in Athens, Greece was built in the 15th century BC to house the 40, 42 foot tall statue of Athena, goddess of wisdom and benevolent protector of Athens. The huge statue was captured by Phidias of ivory and gold. Nashville Parthenon, the world's only full scale replica of the original existed for 93 years without the central figure of Athena. On May 20, 1990, Nashville Athena Parathon was unveiled. This statue was made possible through the efforts of the citizens of Nashville and the world's contribution generously to the Athena Fund Foundation under the guidance and leadership of Anne Friedrich Roos founder metropolitan board of parks and recreation james h fike director okay so here's a bit of history as we go into the uh, nashville parthenon 19, 1897 to 1988 the nashville parthenon was built on this site as the centerpiece of tennessee centennial <clears throat> centennial exposition of 1897 the original full-scale replica was intended as a temporary exhibit structure as was constructed of brick, wood, and plaster. The building quickly uh, endeared itself to all Nashville who protested plans for the building. Demolition at the close of centennial celebration. The original building stood until 1921, at which time the city of Nashville began the uh, reconstruction of the worn structure. This time with permanent material, this building, the result of those efforts, was completed in 1931. The Parthenon was listed in the National Registry of Historic Places on February 23, 1972. In 1987, the Metropolitan Board of Parks and Recreation undertook the rehabilitation of the interior of the Parthenon. The improvements include upgrade gallery space, ground level entrance 
and an elevator, resulting in the barrier-free accessibility of the entire facility for the first time. As in 1897 and 1931, these improvements completed in 1988 are a gift to the people of Metropolitan Nashville and Davidson County and serve as a reminder of Nashville, Nashville's long-standing reputation as the Athens of the South. So the architect, and here is some credit given to the architects, 1897, Colonel W.C. Smith, 1921, Russell Hart, 1987, Gresham Smith and partner, contractor, 1897, Edward Laurent, 1921, Foster and Creighton Company, 1987, Alexander and Shankle Construction Company. Okay, so there we have a brief history. We looked at entrance, we looked at opening hours, some rules they have. So we're just gonna surround now go around some more take a look at the exterior structure of the building and see how it uh, replicates Greek mythology and the overall construction of the building <clears throat> now we're gonna get an up-close look more up-close look of the building okay and um, it's owned by the Nashville Parks and Recreation. It's properly maintained. You can see this grass is nicely groomed. Nice parking lot they have here. Very clean. Right, and there are some lights. Bus stop drop off. Right. And if we could get some more uh, specs in regards to the size of the building and um, overall how it's set up we're gonna do that okay I just want to surround it so you can have an idea of how big it really is so I would say from that end to that end uh, maybe 110 feet 120 feet long that's about the size of it and going around to the front Or is it the back? Who knows? But if you ever wanted to see a life-size replica of Greek archaeology and structure, I would definitely recommend this. Take a look here. And again, it's located right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, that means if you want to see something like this, uh, you don't necessarily need to go to Greece. You can come right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Unless you want to see the originals, then that's a whole different story. Okay. All right, so let's get up on these steps. get closer video imagery of the roof ceiling mm -hmm. so we got the history and so forth I'm pretty sure there's a lot of folks